Good morning, welcome to Chow Academy. I am Ms. Chowdhury number two. Today we are going to learn about balancing chemical equations. To start off, there are four types of chemical reactions. The first type of reaction is called synthesis. Synthesis consists of multiple reacting combining to form a single product. This can be shown using the reactants A plus B, which results in the product of AB. We will do an example together using the equation C4H6O3 plus H2O, which makes C2H4O2, which is on the board around here. First, we put ones in front of everything to start off. Next, we start by writing the numerical values that are given for each element. You can write it at the top or at the bottom, it doesn't matter. Next, you look at the product and, the, and balance the first element to the reactant, which we're going to look at C2 and C4. There are two C's in the product, while there are four C's in the reactant. We have to find a number that will make the two C's in the reactant side equal to the, to the four C's on the product side. So we'll double it by putting a two in front of the product. We will also double the other elements too, since the two is multiplying the whole equation. C becomes four, H becomes eight, two becomes four. Now we will check if it's balanced. C should be balanced because each side has four carbon now. If we add the six hydrogen and the two hydrogen together on the, on the reactant side, it will create eight hydrogen, which we have on both sides. Lastly, counting the oxygen, we so have four equation, in total on the reactant set. side because Every three plus one is one. four, and we have four and over here. The equation is now balanced, and, and you three, learned how to three, balance a synthesis three, equation. I am Miss Chattery number three. The next type of chemical reaction is decomposition. Contrary to synthesis, decomposition is breaking things apart. So you, if you have chemical compound AB, you would break it up into A and B. Hello, all of this is so we have this nice equation here. So, will be just this. so the first thing we're going to do is count the numerical values. So there's one, there's four, there's one, there's three, there's two, there's two, there's two, and then one. So the first thing we're going to do, because this is odd and this is even, and we want this to be even, is we're going to put a two here. So this will make this two, this is eight, this will also be 2, this will also be 6. So when we look here, this is the only thing that has nitrogen and we have two twos. So we're going to put a 2 here, this is satisfied, we can get rid of this. So then we have to deal with the oxygen and the H2O. So for the O2, we're going to put, we're going to put 1 here so that this will become a 4 because it's taken up 2 of them. So for H2O, luckily there's two times as many hydrogen as oxygen, and we have eight and four, and eight is twice as much as four. So we're gonna put a four here, and we're done. Hello, I am Ms. Chowdhury number four, and today I will be showing you another type of chemical reaction known as single replacement. Single replacement is a concept where AB plus C gives you AC plus B. Uh, it represents how you have a cation and an anion, and then how these switch the next time around. These two then change these two. Uh, an example of this can be seen in NaBr plus Cl2 gives you NaCl plus Br2. Um, we're gonna have one here. So to start off, you can place a one before each compound. And then from that, you can then count how many there are. Uh, in this NA, there's only one. This BR has one. This CL has two. This NA has one. That CL has one. And this BR has two. So first, let's start off with the NAs. Um, there's one NA here, one NA here. So the NAs for now are all balanced. Uh, then you look at the product again, you see there's two BRs here and only one here. So now this is going to have to change to a 2. And so do the NA and the BR, they also change to a 2 because now you have 2. Uh, the BRs now are equal, but the NAs are not. So now you have to revert back to the product 
change this to a two, which changes this Na to a two, and this Cl to a two. Now that you know that the Na's and the Br's are balanced, you next move to the Cl. There's two Cl's here and two Cl's here. Uh, the product and the reactant are both equalized, so we're all done. Hello all, this is Ms. Chowdhury number five, and the next chemical reaction we'll be covering is double replacement. In double replacement, you are essentially switching the anions of the compounds you're given. And this can be shown with the equation cation 1, anion 1, plus cation 2, anion 2, makes cation 1, anion 2, and cation 2, anion 1. So here you can see that these anions are switched in the product. Uh, so it's here and here. Now, for example, we will be doing this equation. So Na3PO4 plus HCl. And that makes. NaCl plus H3PO4. In this equation here, if we set all these blank spaces to 1, then we can count up the amount of atoms in the compound already. So Na has 3, PO has 4, H has 1, and Cl has 1. And in the product, Na has 1, Cl has 1, H has 3 and PO has 4. So here we, there is a clear imbalance in the compounds and our end goal is to balance them out. So if we first look at Na here, there are three atoms compared to one over here. So if we turn this into three, this one turns into three and this chlorine turns into three as well. So now these these NAs are balanced. So onto PO. So PO, PO here has four and PO here has four, so that's good. And hydrogen has one compared to the three hydrogen atoms here. So what we wanna do is switch this to three. And these turn into three as well. And if you look at it, uh, we can see all the balances in both both sides of the equation. Na has three, and it has three. PO has four, H has three, and chlorine has three.